I am Jim Clay. I'm the Senior Director of Golf and Athletics at the club in New Seabury. Uh, Ocean Course at New Seabury was opened in 1962. It's a William Mitchell design, but most recently renovated by uh, Bruce Hepner, who's done an amazing job of bringing the coastline into the golf course. It's uh, 7,100 yards, par 72, and front nine, everyone's gonna be able to hop out there, see the ocean, see the vineyard, you're on the water. A couple of holes on that front nine that are really gonna come into play, depending on the wind, are the second and third holes that have really played challenging, they're tight, they're surrounded by the ocean and then uh, some bunkers. So, uh, great golf course, true test of golf. Ours is a rather flat golf course, where Eastward Ho, you're going to see some dramatic elevation changes and they have some fast running fairways that uh, players are going to have to plan for. We're, our course, everything's in front of you. Uh, again, we're more flat side, we're right on the water. It's uh, one thing that will probably be the same at both is it all depends what kind of wind comes up. Uh, both courses can play extremely challenging if the winds come up uh, as they do often on Cape Cod. Second and third holes are, are two tough tests right out of the gate there. Uh, you don't want to, especially the third hole, you want to get out of there with a the par, you're going to be ahead of the field if you can make a four in that hole. And then some game changers as you get to the back nine, 15 is a reachable par five that you can score on, but that 16, 17, and 18 require very accurate tee shots that will really bring a true test of golf, especially the 18th hole with the hard dog leg left. That player's going to have to hit two good shots to, to have a chance at birdie. So we're really looking forward to it at the club. The membership is really behind this event. We we're excited to be asked. And we think it's just such a pleasure to be paired with East Ho to host this amazing championship. To hear that it's the largest in the country is truly a, uh, an honor to be part of. Yeah, my name is Jason Winslow, the head golf professional at uh, East Ho um, Country Club. The, uh, the course is definitely described as a uh, link style golf course. Uh, we're surrounded by water on three of the uh, three of the four areas um, are on three sides. Um, it it definitely plays uh, hardest when the wind blows, which is quite often. Um, it's a uh, a piece of land that's very undulating. So the scorecard yardage tells one thing, but the, the way it plays, the length it plays, is quite longer, quite a bit longer. Um, you know, and it, it requires a, a definitely a shot maker's course. It's not a bomber's course. Um, so it takes a little strategy and, and uh, some knowledge of, of the course itself. Um, New Seabury's definitely got a lot of shape to it. It's got uh, their seaside course too. Uh, they do get inland a little bit more. So you're gonna see the, uh, um, the, the, true, the true difference probably in, in the elevation changes that we have here. A lot of holes um, are very hilly and very, um, sideways uh, so not a lot of flat lies here uh, again shot making and creativity uh, will reward the players um, you know New Seabury's probably has bigger greens than us uh, our greens are very small very traditional uh, to, to an old course um, and it plays plays to the guys that can hit the uh, hit the wedges close that's for sure uh, well, getting off to good starts always important number one's a tough hole uh, but uh, fair off the tee um, you have some scoring holes a few after that, but uh, I'd say once you get to hole number six is when the challenge uh, definitely starts. That's um, it's probably my favorite hole. It's uh, the number one ranked hole on the on the course. Um, it's got uh, a stunning view once you reach the green, um, and uh, if you know how to play the course properly or that that particular hole, you're going to drive it down the left side. Hopefully, get down into the uh, the saddle in the middle, and you could have a nine iron or a wedge in. Um, if you hit a bad tee shot and you get off to the right, um, you could be 180 to 200 yards out uh, with a blind view or blind shot. So uh, a keyhole, um, you know, a par is a great score on that, but I can certainly see some big numbers on the hole as well. We definitely have some scoring holes where they're going to have uh, wedges in their hand. Um, that doesn't always mean uh, that you're going to be able to hit it close because the greens are difficult. Um, but the greens are, uh, are tricky to read, and, and anyone that's played here before might have an advantage over ones who haven't, uh, but putting's always the key. We talked about this um, probably three or four years ago, uh, playing at the Centennial and wanting to have a, uh, a big event here. We thought, you know, just kind of the type of club we are, um, a little bit um, 
more small knit or tucked away on Cape Cod that we wanted to, to host something that, uh, you know, for the local professionals or the area professionals. Um, so we're excited to have the championship here. Uh, it is our centennial year. We've been doing a lot of uh, events throughout the season, but this is kind of a big culmination end of the season thing. So uh, it's going to be a great week. The members are excited about it. Um, the staff's excited about it. I'm sure the players are too.